Welcome back to my channel guys and I'm going to be sharing my Halloween 2017 planner setup with you guys. I've had a lot of you request this specific video. Each year I usually do a specific theme planner for Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, so I wanted to make sure that I shared this year's version with you. The planner that I'm currently in is a Foxy Fix. I love this planner, it is my favorite. It's a traveler's notebook, and the size of this is in a number two pocket wide. I have my name embossed on the outside, and it's black with the white stitching, and I also have the blind embossing of a heart on the spine. This is one of my favorite planners that I currently own in my collection, and the fact that it was black, it worked perfect for Halloween. We're gonna look at the things that I have on the outside of the planner. The first thing is the paper clip that I have behind the Traveler's Notebook Elastic. I love Traveler's Notebooks specifically for this feature because I love putting things behind this band. There are so many things that you can put here. You can put paper clips. You can put a little tiny uh, charm that has a lobster claw similar to this one here on the top left. You can also put a notepad back here as long as it's kind of on the thinner side. You can also put post-it notes. There are so many things you can do to decorate the outside front of your Traveler's Notebook and I always love having something in the front. So this year I decided on this really adorable, cute little bat. Speaking of this bat, this clip here is from Lovely Little Planners and I adore it. Look at how sparkly and glittery he is. He's just so cute. It's so well done. I love her clips because the glitter is really, really dense, but yet it does not rub off anywhere on yourself on your hands or any of your planner supplies. So I really love that. And I will link all the shops that I mentioned below. So this way, if there's something that you see that you're interested in, you can take a look. And I will say I do have several items that, that are kind of on the older side. So when I get to those items, I will mention them. Also on the outside of the planner, I have these charms. I actually made these myself last year during this time frame. I did have a Traveler's Notebook Charm Shop set up on Etsy. It's no longer open at this time. I haven't made any decisions on reopening that yet, but I did make this ghost Traveler's Notebook bookmark that I really love, so I added it. And um, I've been getting tagged by a lot of you guys that have purchased this last year and are using it this year, and I really appreciate it. I love seeing all the pictures of you guys using that. So definitely make sure you tag me on Instagram. I love seeing them. And I'll leave you my Instagram name right here so you guys can come look me up. Also, we have this cute little charm. This one here is from Love Neen. I love this. It's a little ghosty. Look at how adorable this is. It's super puffy and soft and I just love it and it worked so nicely with the theme this year so I decided to add it and I'm glad I did because it's really really cute. I'm going to give you a quick look at the top of this traveler's notebook. It is very packed. <laughs> There's a lot to look at up on the top but we'll go through everything so that you can see what everything is. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open the elastic. I'm going to remove this clip and just put him on the side and I'll show you where I store him inside of the traveler's notebook when I'm working on the um, inside and I don't have a place to put him. I'll show you where I store him. So we're going to open this up and I'm really thrilled with how this came out this year. I'm going to zoom in on this side so we can take a closer look at it. My main theme that I went with this year was from a collection that I purchased from My Paper Love Studio. Here is a die cut from that collection right here. I kind of based my whole setup on this color scheme. I feel like it's like really non-traditional Halloween colors, but at the same time you can mix in traditional Halloween colors and it looks really cute together. So as soon as I saw this kit, which I purchased I believe in early August, I fell in love with it and I knew this would be my setup well in advance for Halloween. So let's look at everything on this side of the planner. The first thing I have here are these number paper clips. I love these number paper clips. You guys that have watched me have seen this in past videos. They're from Michaels. I don't know if they still sell them because I purchased them many years ago. 
I love them because if you have a specific date or something that's coming up in the current month, you can mark the date here so that you remember it like a birthday or just a special appointment that you have to go to. Obviously for this month, I put the 31st for Halloween. Next to it, I have my Ollie clip in black. I just really love the way the black on black looks. It's really cute. Now this paper clip here is probably one of my favorites in my collection. And I know that you guys that have have watched me before have seen this paper clip. I believe I used it in my Halloween setup in my A5 burnt orange file effects. So if you go back to that video, you will see this paper clip as well. This right here is from Sincerely Bernice. It's really, really cute. I think at the time her shop was called BB Crafty and she's changed it since, but this is where I got this ghosty paper clip and he is so adorable. And since mostly the theme of my my setup is ghosts. I thought it was perfect. I love how it sits in this little pocket here on the Foxy Fix. This is probably one of my favorite features of the Foxy Fix is this pocket here. Um, I love just putting stuff in this pocket. I struggle with planners that have pockets that point this way and you have to slide things in this direction. I can't function with those. I've tried it. So this is my favorite type of setup. And I know that you guys um, that have been with me for a while know that because I think I say that on every video. Okay, our next clip that I have here is also another super adorable clip. This one is from Picks and Stones. And again, I will link that below. And I believe I have a coupon code for this shop. So if I have any kind of coupon codes for any of the shops that I link below, I'll make sure I include that as well in case you guys want to utilize those. This is super sparkly and super pretty. And again, I love her shop because her glitter is very chunky and dense. So it's very sparkly, but at the same time, it does not rub off on anything. And I really think that's important when it comes to glitter. I'm not a fan of having glitter on top of my hands and all over my planner. It just absolutely drives me crazy. Okay, the next thing I have here is a die cut that's just kind of tucked in this pocket. This is from the My Paper Love Studio kit that I discussed earlier that I said was here. I love these die cuts. They're so cute. And I really feel like there's like non-traditional Halloween colors going on, like with this teal color, with this pastel purple. I'm going to uh, quickly flip to the stickers that come with this collection. So you can kind of look, there's also pink involved. I thought that was really, really pretty. And like I said, I knew right away that was how I was gonna set up my planner for this year. So I just kind of keep this tucked over here. I really like the moon and I think that's really cute. Next we have these ghost tabs and I really love these. These were given to me um, from Jen from Planning Made Perfect. She actually gave these to me as a gift so they were not part of any collection. I don't know where she purchased them, but I have searched them on Etsy as ghost tabs and they came up so they are available. They're super, super cute. Now, just to show you a small little tip, I have them in this plastic protector because what happens is if I don't, they will start to curl up and they'll get caught on different things inside my planner. So just a little tip, if you keep post-it notes or if you keep post-it tabs in the inside pockets of your planner and they curl and get caught on things, just slip them in a little plastic kind of thing. I just used a stamp uh, envelope that I cut down to size so that it would fit perfectly and I really like them. So back to these little tabs, they are adorable and they match back to the theme I was going with, with this kind of bluish color and the really pretty pastel uh, purple. What I love about these is that they're super functional. We have one that is like a movie theater one for going to movies. We have a plain one that you can kind of mark anything with. This little one here holding the camera, which I use for my filming schedule. Here he's reading a book, which is so cute. And I have that marked on my list for books I want to read. Here he's holding a wine glass. I mean, how adorable is that, guys? A ghost drinking wine. <laughs> That's so cute. And that's so perfect for me. And I'll show you later inside of my planner how I'm using this little tab. And then we have this little guy, I think he's baking an omelet. This is cute for like your menu section 
or your food prep or food planning section of your planner. And then the last one, he's holding a little pencil so it's cute for all kinds of planning. So I really like these because they're really um, going to come in handy and I can actually really use them. And then we're gonna go to this side of the planner. Here, as I mentioned earlier, this here is from uh, My Paper Love Studio. I love her die cuts. They're so pretty and they're really nice quality. This kind of washi tape that's shaped like bats in the background was from last year's Target dollar spot for Halloween stuff. So I don't think that that exists anymore. I had a little bit of it left, so I thought it looked really cute here. This October monthly card is also from My Paper Love Studio. And as you can see, I just love the colors. I can't get over how cute the colors are, which is this pastel kind of purple and this teal. I just think really, really cute for Halloween. Something different and really love love those colors. I'm just gonna remove this star clip and it's from Peony's Papery. I love this. It's so pretty and sparkly. It has like little sequins on it. It's probably one of my favorite type clips from her and you usually will always see one of these in my planner somewhere. I just added this little tiny embellishment kind of like um, not really a rhinestone but just a little cutesy thing that I had gotten in my crafting supplies. Really love that. Next I have this Pen Gems. This Pen Gems is one of my favorite. This is from the Halloween collection from 2016. These pens are gorgeous. I am definitely addicted. You will see these on my channel and in my planners at all times. They are never absent. And I think it's been like that since I started planning and since I started my um, feed on Instagram. I've always had them in my planners and I'm obsessed with them. And I really love this orange and black one. Unfortunately, guys, these are limited edition type pens. You can only purchase them at certain times of the year for a very short period of time. So that one's no longer available, but I love it. And I wanted to definitely have it in my planner for the Halloween setup because it matches so perfect. Okay, we're gonna just turn the page. We'll go over to this side. Next, we have these really cute post-it notes that I got from Target. They're really pretty. They were actually not in a Halloween collection. They were in a kind of a floral collection that came out recently. I just thought the colors match back really well with the My Paper Love Studio Halloween kit. So I really loved them. You can see the pink and you can see like that teal blue color, or bluish green and the purple really, really pretty. The background paper is from a Michaels paper pack from Halloween two years ago, so it's no longer available. But what I have everything slid into is a Foxy Fix uh, dashboard. These are my favorite. And this is in the pocket size, it fits perfectly. And then on this side here, we have more stuff from um, my Paper Love Studio. I loved the vellum that came in this kit. Look at how cute this is. This like pink pumpkin, the cauldron. I love that she incorporated this orange, burnt orange gold color in as well for Halloween. Really, really cute. And I just have this die cut under this large paper clip. I think this is probably one of my favorite paper clips. It's very simple and there's not much to it, but I absolutely love it. Now this here, I forget the shop that I purchased this from, it's material. It's actually a funny story. I did not purchase this for Halloween. I purchased this when I had my surgery on my both of my feet. I was getting so many x-rays <laughs> that it was ridiculous. So I purchased this to mark in my planner the days that I was getting x-rays. How hysterical is that? It wasn't even meant for Halloween. But when I saw it in my collection, I was like, oh wow, that's perfect for Halloween. So I incorporated incorporated it in and I just have it washi taped down and I'm okay with that. It's quite uh, thick because it's felt, but I will show you all the thick items that I have inside of this planner and how everything fits fine with no issues and how you shouldn't be afraid to really put in some thick bulky items in your planner. I know when I first started using a TN, 
our traveler's notebook. That was probably my biggest thing was I didn't want to put anything too bulky in because I thought there wouldn't be room for it. And boy, was I mistaken because you can put a lot of bulky items in here and it's fine. And I'll show you all of them as we progress through this video. But I loved the vellum that came in this collection. It was just so pretty. I just instantly fell in love with it. I will link the shop for this clip right here because I forget who it was. So I'll put it right there. I'll have to look that up. And the first insert that I have is my monthly. I believe this one here is from So Much Crafting. Um, I didn't use this a lot this year, so it's mostly empty. I used it towards the end of last year so you can see um, Thanksgiving and Christmas of 2016, but this is the rest of 2017. Really, really like it. I was in my personal size, so I didn't really use this size, but we're gonna flip. Actually, I'm gonna flip to this piece first. Look at how cute this bookmark is. Is this not the most adorable thing? I love the little ghosts, and again, those colors, just loving them, everything about them. This fits really nicely, again, from the paper, um, my Paper Love Studio collection. Really love that to mark my month. And we're gonna go into an October. And I love the way my October stickers came out. I have not filled in anything yet, but I plan on doing that this evening because I do have everything written down in small little notes or post-it notes that I had stuck in here that I removed just for the video. So you guys didn't have to see all my crazy post-it notes. I had a lot of birthday parties. I had a lot of dentist appointment in the first two weeks of October. Things have been crazy. So I just haven't had a chance to sit down and put everything in the way I like. But as far as this sticker collection, I love it. It matched perfectly perfectly with the theme I was going. These actually came from Creating & Co. And as soon as I saw them, I knew they were gonna match back. They have that really pretty pink. They have the pastel purple. They have that pastel teal color. Really perfect match to everything that was in this collection. And then this is the other side of the insert. You can see that vellum again. It's beautiful. I love it. It's perfect for Halloween. Okay, on this side here, we have just a another Foxy Fix dashboard. And I just kind of made this myself. It was a piece of scrap paper that I had that was in the right color. I had these uh, doodle bug design doilies that were given to me by a friend. And I think they are super, super pretty. I love them. I think I actually have these in a Happy Mail video because I got Happy Mail from somebody and they sent me these and I totally love them. So I included one of those. I had this Happy Halloween wood veneer in my stash. So I just put that in and I backed it with some sparkly paper. And again, here is that thing I was telling you about with thickness. Don't be afraid. This wood veneer is very, very thick thick, but it fits really nicely in the Foxy Fix dashboard holder with no problem. And then we're on to the next pen. This is the Itsy Bitsy Spider Pen by Pen Gems, and it's this year's release, and I am in love with it. I just got it in, a, in the mail the other day, but it has a spider on it. It's so cute, and the crystals are gorgeous. They're white and black. Now, again, guys, unfortunately, this is a limited edition release, so it sold out quite quickly on the it was released, which was this past Friday, I believe. So you can't get those anymore. You would have to trade or look for somebody that has extras of those, but I love it and I had to include it, of course. I just love my pen gems. Okay, on to the next section. This is probably one of my favorite parts of the whole entire planner. I just think this is so bright and fun and it's just so cute. I really love this portion. If I had to pick a favorite page, it would be this one, but I'm definitely missing some stuff here. And I'll explain that in just a little bit because I definitely like my planners to have expansion room in them. Okay, so on uh, onto the die cuts that are here. These two, the Happy Halloween and the Trick or Treat Yourself were from the paper, uh, My Paper Love Studios collection really super cute. This die cut here is from Once More With Love. Now, if you are part of their Facebook group, hey, Bella, we have a little guest. Sorry, guys, can't help that she interrupts videos. I think she kind of knows when I'm filming and wants to be part of them all the time. So you'll hear her meowing in the background, no big deal. 
And this again is from the Once More With Love uh, Facebook group. If you join the Facebook group, the owners of these companies are so kind and every once in a while they will throw out a die cut that is for the Facebook group followers for free. I really loved this one. This one actually was intended for Christmas. It was red and I just colored it to orange because I thought it would look so cute in my Halloween setup because it looks like a pumpkin spice latte, or at least that's what my mind tells me it does. <laughs> and I have my name on it. It's really, really cute. I love it. And then the back is just some sparkly glitter paper I had in my collection. Here is another vellum cover that came with the My Paper Love Studio collection. Really love this. Look at these cute ghosts, guys. I just think these are adorable. I think they are so cute. I just, I can't get over how cute these little ghosts are, so. Okay, so this next insert is my list. And I'll show you some things that I did with those ghost tabs that I showed you in the beginning. Now this is a new list book and I'm okay that it's completely empty because I'll explain to you about the tabs when I show you each of the pages. The first one I have is this cute little ghost that's holding the wine glass that I showed you earlier. He is so, so cute. And what I did for this list is it's going to be a list of wines that I want to purchase. In late October for um, my anniversary, my husband and I like to go to our local vineyards or wineries to pick up some wines and just enjoy the entertainment they have for Halloween. And this year we're going to be doing, I think, three different wineries. So I want to write down some of the wines that I want to purchase while I'm there and possibly just a little um, kind of like a layout map of what we're going to do that day and which wineries we're going to visit. So I thought that was really cute. These are just some uh, sticker letters that I had in my stash that I ended up using. My next tab is this cute little ghost reading a book and again, laminated and adhered to the page. Really, really cool. I love that idea because this way you can find that page really easily from the top of the traveler's notebook. And this here is just going to be a list of all books that I want to read. I've been trying to get back into reading. It's difficult, but I think if I have a list, it will really help me. Okay. And then the next tab that I have is for filming all the plan uh, videos that I plan on putting up on this channel. I have a list of some ideas that I want to put here. That's kind of a little bit of a secret. So I didn't want you guys to see that. So I won't be filling this out for anybody to see. Sorry. And it's that little tiny ghost that's holding the camera. Very cute. Now, I want this book to go through November and into December. And basically what I'll do is I'll use adhesive remover to remove these tabs once Thanksgiving rolls around and I'm no longer doing the Halloween theme and I will replace them with Thanksgiving themed tabs. I will do the same thing during Christmas time. So these lists will follow me all the way through the end of the year. They won't just be Halloween based. And I really like that idea that you can change it up like that. Here is the back of that vellum. Love it. Okay. Now this paper here, this is another Foxy Fix dashboard here. I love this paper. It's from a Michaels collection that's no longer available, but I just thought it was really, really cute. It's probably one of my favorite designs. I loved the ghost here. I love the teal color that was kind of in the whole collection. I thought that worked back to what was going on in this planner. And I have a die cut from Grumpy Bear Sticker Co. Oh, it's so cute. I know a lot of you own this one. It's just adorable. It's the little bear popping out of the pumpkin. I love it. It's one of my favorite. Now here on the side, I have some growing room. And I think that's important when you set up these planners, guys, is you shouldn't feel like you have to fill in every square inch of every page. Sometimes you need a little growing space. I had mentioned that earlier that um, you want to be able to expand in your planner. So I left this blank because I'd like to put some pictures here of my cats and a picture of me and my husband. And I want to be able to have room to do that. So like, for instance, if tonight I go um, into my uh, planning space and I decide I'm bored and I want to do something, I have a place that I can add things. I don't want every single inch of this thing taken up so that I can definitely grow into it as the month 
progresses. Okay, on the other side, I just have this really um, cute little uh, shaker pocket and I just washi taped it onto the dashboard and this trick-or-treat was part of this paper collection here from Michaels. I just cut it out. I thought it looked cute. On this side of the page, we have a cute little spider uh, notepad or sticky pad. These are from Target and they're not really useful. You can't really write a note on that, but I loved the spider. He was so cute. I loved his little googly eyes, so I wanted to include him. Then I have another note or post-it note from Target. And on top of that, I have this cute little Tormi die cut. He is adorable and he is one of my favorites. A new sticker company that I just discovered over the last couple of months is Joy of Planning. It's new to me. She has these adorable little Tormies and she has them in die cut form and in stickers. And I placed an order with her for some Halloween stickers and this little Tormie came in the um, order as a freebie. He is so cute and he's holding a little black hat and you guys know I love my cats and you know I have a black hat Salem. She is super cute. I will insert a picture here in case you guys are not familiar with her. You can take a little peek at her. That's Salem and I thought this was perfect for Halloween and I love this little die cut. I will link that shop below as well. Definitely check it out. I have some stickers from her that I'm going to be showing you at the end of this so you can check those out as well and I just have this piece of vellum that I purchased from Hobby Lobby okay next up we have my three month weekly calendar this is actually from let's see I got this quite a while ago the paper penguin co I wanted to try something different and this design is definitely different for me I have not used this layout before so I'm really excited about it I'm going to use it for this week that just passed I have not had a chance to sit down and plan this week so I'm going to catch that up tonight and I'm going to use it for the week of Halloween the rest of October and it, it looks really fun. I'll let you guys know on Instagram if I end up loving this layout or if I end up hating it. <laughs> um, I can't wait to really try that. It's, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be fun. Okay, so the next thing we have in here is the actual stickers. The collection was called Halloween Night. And again, I ordered this in August of, of this year. So it was quite a while ago when I got these and so glad I did. Look at how adorable these are, guys. Oh my gosh, like so, so cute. I can't even handle how cute these are. Um, so much fun stuff. Again, a mix of traditional and non-traditional colors. Really love that. I'm so excited for Halloween week just so I can use these stickers. And another part of that kit was this right here, which is the Today Marker. It's gorgeous, I love it. Super, super cute. Okay, so I will definitely let you guys know on Instagram if I end up loving this Paper Penguin Co. insert. The insert itself is beautiful. The paper quality is nice. They're pre-made, so you get them, you know, intact if you're scared to print your own inserts. Uh, the paper quality is phenomenal. I just don't know if I'm going to be in love with this layout. We'll see. We'll give it a try. Okay, on to the back of this. Now, I had mentioned earlier that there's some growing space inside of this planner, and this is one of those pages. So when you set up a planner, guys, don't feel like you have to put everything in that one time. It's a progression kind of thing. Give yourself space to grow, definitely. Okay, this background paper here again was from that Michaels Halloween paper pack that I had from several years back, so you can't get that anymore. I apologize, but the colors were perfect. And then I have another uh, Grumpy Bear sticker here. So cute. I love him. He's adorable. Here I have a peach palm that was in the perfect color that matched back to this whole setup. So I really love that. Okay, on to the next page. Um, okay, now I had said earlier there was another part of this planner that was my favorite. This kind of is my favorite too. They're all my favorite. But on this left side here, the other back side of that Foxy Fix dashboard, I have this cute decal from um, Coffee Monster. Now this is not their normal die cut. This I believe is supposed to be like a decal for your computer. I do want to eventually put this on my MacBook Pro. Um, but for right now, I put it in my planner because it's so cute. I love the little open mouth. I love how like 
cute it was, so I thought it would be perfect in here. This die cut here down at the bottom is from Ohana Story, another new shop to me. I know it's been around for a while, but I'm in love with it. I've been obsessed. I've been ordering a lot of stuff from there too, and I have a future order coming up, but this is so cute for Halloween. It came in my last order, and I love it, and I love that it has the pink and purple so it matched back perfect. This Silver Star uh, Vellum is actually from Hobby Lobby. I just added that in myself. Now, another fun thing that I put in here that I really, really like is the Nicole Hutch Designs Label Variety Book. I love this thing. So I actually um, want to order as many of these as possible when she gets them. They're just labels, skinny labels. We have solid quarter boxes, but I really, really love them. And sometimes you just need that like, you know, label or quarter box or full box that you need to throw in and you don't have anything that matches in your uh, set or you're just short in a collection that you purchase. I love using those. So I will link her shop below as well. Um, I really love this book. It's super useful. Then I just have some stickers in the middle that I created myself. Uh, one's for face masks, one's for binge watching Hallmark Channel, which is really sad and crazy. <laughs> I have some lip scrub stickers. I'm big crazy lip scrub person. I try every lip scrub that's on the face of this earth. And then here is another blank page. Again, I do plan on putting something here. It's just a space to grow. Really love that. In the back here, I have all the leftover stickers that are from the My Paper Love Studios collection that I purchased. These are going to all be used the week of Halloween. Um, Oh gosh, look at how cute the little freebie was that came with that set. It's adorable. And then we have the ghosts, the little trick or treat and the eyeballs. You saw these die cuts throughout the whole planner. These are just an extra pair of stickers that came with the kit as well. There's some tabs in here. I plan on using that this evening. I have um, a different list that I wanna add in my list insert. And I think that'll be really cute. Then I have this Starbucks Halloween gift card. I'm a little salty about this card, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if you can see, but down in the bottom left, I don't know if it's my camera's gonna pick that up. This actually said ha Happy Halloween and it scratched off. I was so upset about it. I'm like, why? These little decals and stuff should not be scratchable. These ones don't seem to be, but the one that said ha Happy Halloween was, and I actually had the H and both the H from Happy and the H from Halloween rub off on me and it really bugged me. So I just scratched the whole thing off. I was really mad about it. It. I was like, you know what? I don't want to see it all faded like that. It's driving me crazy. So let me just throw these stickers back in real quickly. We're going to get these back into the back pocket. They store really nicely here. I have this spooky clip that I made myself. It's just a button that I used and glued, hot glued it to a paper clip. This is super old. I had this in an older setup video as well. And I had mentioned earlier when I took this little back clip off of the front of my TN, when I'm working in my TN, I obviously can't keep that paper clip that I decide to decorate the outside of my TN with. So what I do is I usually take it and I stuff him in that back corner. He sits there really nicely when I'm working on um, my planner and, you know, adding things to it. Okay. And then the last thing is another pen gems. This was also a release from this year. I believe it was called pumpkin pie. It's gorgeous. I don't know if my camera is going to pick it up, but it has little sparkles in it. It's so pretty. This one literally sold out in just a few minutes, but I totally love it. I got lucky and I was able to check out just before it sold out. I got extremely lucky. So I thought it would be cute to have all three of my Halloween pen gems in this setup. They just look really cute together. So that was everything, guys on the planner. I'm gonna just show you some stickers I've been obsessed with lately and that I'm going to be using in this planner as well. These are some of the stickers I plan on using. They are adorable. My first um, 
new obsession, create with pen stickers. I'm sure you guys have seen these. They are adorable. I love this shop. I'm obsessed. I pretty much can't stop watering from her. <laughs> it's crazy, but I bought these little pumpkin ones. They're going to be cute. I have not purchased my pumpkins yet because it's too early. We carve them a couple of days before Halloween and I only purchased them a couple of days before then. So I won't be purchasing those till next week. I'm hoping to hit a pumpkin patch. So hopefully I'll be able Able to use those. They are super cute. Also, Ohana story. I showed you this die cut here that was inside my setup, and it also comes in sticker form. Look at how cute these stickers are. Now, I don't think this sheet is available anymore. I think this was a special that she did. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that, but I will link the shop below just in case you want to check it out. Look at the cute little bat. Oh my gosh. Look at the little mouse. <laughs> It's like a Halloween mouse. It's so cute. Look at this one where she's holding the black hat. I'm in love. And this one here with the little spider. It's adorable. I just love everything about this sticker sheet. I can't wait to use it. Then I have a coffee monster. Let me just make sure I don't have any more coffee monster. I have this coffee um monsters one, which is super cute. Perfect. These here are the ones I'm going to be using for Halloween and for fall and Thanksgiving. Really, really cute. Just show you those real quickly. Love them. I have these right here, which are the Grumpy Bear ones. I like them because I drink a lot of hot chocolate during this time of year. And these pink ones are going to go really well since my um, setup and the stickers that I picked for Halloween week have that pink in them. So I'm going to be using those. Oh no, these stickers are so old. They stuck to each other. That's okay. Not a big deal. They're still usable. That's what I love about stickers. If they don't stick anymore, you just put a little glue on the back of them and they are great. Okay, this one here is from Once More With Love. The reason why they peeled up is because it's an older sticker sheet that I've kind of tossed around a lot and it has not survived well. This one I've kind of abused. It is the fall bucket list. There is a new version that's out. So if you want to get these, you want to check. This is the older version. I'm going to use that up this year because I don't think it's going to survive another year. <laughs> okay, on to these. This was a freebie that came with my joy of planning. The other stickers I've been obsessed with, that little Tormy that was holding the black hat. Oh my gosh, look. There's a little black cat in these. That's so cute. I love it. And we have this one holding the umbrella, the little um, pumpkin spice latte kind of looks like, or it could be hot chocolate. It's really cute. The pumpkin pie, really, really, really cute. This little Tormy that's playing in the leaves that'll be perfect for this week as well. I love this full box. That's really pretty. This was the freebie sheet. I love it. I'm obsessed with this shop. I'm going to be ordering way more from her. I have another Once More With Love sticker set. This is older as well. It's the pumpkin spice latte one. I'm hoping to use that up some more. Um, okay, also Joy of Planning, the ones with the little Tormy. She has these stickers, which I'm obsessed with. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. They're like these little girls. And what I like about them is you can choose the skin co tone color. You can either do light skin or dark skin. And then she has four different hair colors. I think she has like a brown, a black, a blonde, and a light brown. You'll just have to go on um, the Etsy shop and check it out. I love that you can customize them. This one looks closest to me with the pale skin and the black hair. And look how cute she's like slicing at this pumpkin. I love it. So I make pumpkin pies. This would be cute for pumpkin pie making. It would also be cute for carving pumpkins, which we're not going to be doing until next week. Really adorable. This one where she's a little witch. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. I love them. And this one here where she has the pumpkin that's already carved absolutely adorable. Also going to be ordering more of those coming up this week. Then I have this sheet here that's from Wonton and a Million. Really cute. It was the Halloween collection. Love that. I'm hoping to use that. Look how cute this one is. They're all cute. They're all adorable. So 
Love that little spider. Gonna be using those. And these are a little bit older. These are from Tricky Sticky Stickers. I hope I said that right. That's such a tongue twister. Try and say that like 10 times in a row. These are the fall candle stickers. I love these because I'm always burning candles. And these were actually from last year, so I don't know if they still exist. They most probably do because they were kind of popular, but you just want to check the link that I provide in the description. It'll show right away if she's still selling them. I love these. They'll be fun. So those are just some of my current obsession stickers that I'm hoping to be using soon in this setup. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope it wasn't too long. Um, I wanted to make sure that I covered everything. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. Have you guys done a Halloween setup video? Uh, link it to me. I would definitely love to see it. Let me know what your Instagram account names are so I can come and check you guys out. I love following new people all the time. And let me know if you've set anything up for Halloween. I'd love to know. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.